Walt used to call me in on a Friday afternoon with my brother Bob, and he'd sit down over here, he'd say, play it, and I would play Feed the Birds. He loved that song. It was his mantra. I think he was feeding the birds all his life. He was giving love. It doesn't take much to give love. That's what it's all about. So for Walt, I'm getting uh, for Walt, for Walt, I'm going to sing this one. steps of St. Paul's, the little old bird woman comes, in her own special way, to the people she calls, come buy my bags full of crumbs, come feed the little birds, show them you care, and you'll be glad if you do, their young ones are hungry, their nests are so bare, all it takes is tuppence from you, feed the birds, tuppence a bag, tuppence, tuppence, tuppence a bag, feed the birds, that's what she cries, while overhead her birds fill the skies, all around the cathedral, the saints and apostles. Today, of course, is the 15th day of December, and 50 years ago, Walt passed away. But I didn't think about that when I was asked about a year ago to contribute to a little show called L.A. Now and Then. And the show was about the way it is in Los Angeles today and the way it was 50 years ago. And I was asked by the producer, would you contribute something to L.A. Now and Then? I said, sure, what do you want me to do? He says, well, what were you doing 50 years ago? I said, well, 50 years ago, I was staff songwriter at the Disney studio. So he, he said, well, write about that. I said, well, okay, I'll think about it. And I remembered 50 years ago, we had a nickname for this joint. We called it the Whimsy Works because, you know, we wrote about things like flubber and we wrote about things like flying nannies, flying out of the air. We did crazy, whimsical things like that. We did stuffed teddy bears. We wrote music for them. So I said, well, maybe I should call it The Whimsy Works. Mm -hmm. And I started thinking about writing this little song called The Whimsy Works. In Burbank, California, circa 1965, the monarch of a magical kingdom kept beautiful dreams alive in a cynical, skeptical world. His banner was ever unfurled. At the corner of Dolby Drive and Mickey Avenue, there's a whimsy works where fairy tales and happy dreams come true. Inconceivables, impossibles were possible to do. At the whimsy works on Dolby Drive, and Mickey Avenue. The man who ran the Whimsy Works was an extraordinary guy. With magic in his eye, he'd make you think that you could fly. He'd wink his eye, and you were in the sky. Though the man is gone, he does live on in all the dreams he grew. At the Whimsy Works, on Dopey Drive, and Mickey above the sky, he'd give you 
are. You always would, achieving what you thought you never could. Though he's gone away, he's here today in new dreams they pursue. At the whimsy works on Dopey Drive and Mickey Avenue. The king of that magical kingdom had many magical schemes, and everyone called him crazy when he risked his all on his dreams. Now animated features abound, and Disneyland's thrive the world round. Peter Pan and Mary Poppins. 